time. And we're going to start in verse 28. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have it, you can either stand or say amen so I know everybody is ready. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. We welcome those that may be uh, listening or watching by internet or who may click on this at a later date and watch it. Amen. We welcome you this morning. It's Matthew chapter 9, starting in verse 28. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Page 1662 on your Expositor's Study Bible. And it says, And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said unto them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yes, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. I'm going to stop right there this morning. I just got a simple message this morning. According to your faith. According to your faith, let it be unto you. Amen. Oh, isn't that a blessing this morning? According to your faith, let it be so unto you. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you. And Lord, I know you've given me this message for somebody, whether it be here in Camcorder, Lord. And I just ask, Lord, let it bless their heart, Lord. Let it minister to their soul and spirit, Lord. And let it edify them, Lord. And let it bring forth faith, Lord. Help our unbelief, Lord. And Lord, we'll give you all the praise, we'll give you all the glory, Lord. Anoint my lips, anoint my words, and anoint your people to hear, and let it produce faith, good fruit, Lord. And we'll give you the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You may be seated. God's currency, amen, is faith. Amen. I said God's currency is faith. Amen. God doesn't work by the dollar bill. Amen. Amen. As blessed as we can be when we give our tithes and offerings, that's not how God operates. Amen. Amen. He operates on one way and one way only, and that is by faith. Amen. Amen. Just believing God. Amen. You can't please God any way else. You can't please him by meriting anything. You can't please him by your works. Amen. You can't please him by your good deeds. You can't please him by putting a few extra zeros on the check when you put it in the box. Amen. The only way you can please God is by faith. Amen. God can't be bought. He can't be merited. He can't be earned. He can't be worked for. You have to come by faith and faith alone and allow him to pour out grace upon you. Amen. That's the only thing God requires of us is faith. Amen. And when you have the right faith, the obedience will come on its own. Amen. There won't be a problem, amen, writing out the check and putting it in the box. There won't be a problem opening your mouth and allowing tongues to come out. There won't be a problem to laying hands on somebody and seeing them recover. Amen. Are you getting it this morning? The, the obedience will come on the own. Proper faith will produce proper obedience. Amen. And in turn, the proper obedience will produce proper works. Amen. Amen. So God's currency is faith. Amen. God doesn't require much of us. But there's one thing he does require is faith. Yeah. Amen. And I'm going to minister a few minutes just on faith. And then I'm going to minister a few minutes on where your faith should be placed. Amen. And then I'll minister a few minutes on, do you believe? Amen. Amen. First of all, faith. Faith is something while we don't see it, we still believe it. Amen. I've never seen Jesus with my natural eyes. Amen. But I do believe he's alive and well and in heaven. Amen. That's what faith is. And that's all God requires of us. Amen. It's faith. Amen. That's why this country is so blessed. Amen. Because this country was built on faith. That's what real true democracy and capitalism is all about, is working by faith. Amen. Now, some of it's not faith that God recognizes, but yet it's faith. Amen. Every business owner that's ever opened up a store believing that, amen, they would be able to provide for the family. That's faith. Amen. That's what makes this country so great, is it working on the currency of faith, God's currency. Amen. 
You notice other countries that work by communism, that work by socialism, that work by these other ways. Amen. They're not doing so good. We see over in China right now, which is probably the biggest country, the biggest army, yet they're struggling and they're having protests all over because it's communism. Amen. But when you have a country that works and operates by the currency of faith, you see blessings happen. Amen. Again, that's what made this country so great. Amen. It's faith. Amen. It's faith. And that's all God asks of us is to have faith. Amen. Again, faith defined as something while we don't see it yet. Amen. We believe. Amen. That's faith. Amen. Now the question may be asked, okay, where do I place my faith now? Amen. Because let me tell you, everybody has faith. Amen. You all have a measure of faith that God has given you. Even the atheists have faith. Now their faith may not be in God. Amen. But yet alone they still have faith. Well, how do you know that? Because they believe in themselves. They believe there is no God. That's still faith, but it's faith in the wrong spot. Amen. So whether people want to argue, well, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Jesus. Okay, you may not believe him, but you still have faith. You just have it misplaced somewhere else. Your faith is in that there is no God. Amen. So whether people want to accept it or not, every person, the Lord gives a measure of faith. Amen. Now, where your faith is at is going to depend on you. Do you put your faith in the word? Do you put your faith in material things? Do you put your faith in the world? Do you put your faith in doctors? Where do you put it? Amen. Do you put your faith that there is no God? Amen. The only place, amen, that God can meet man is by faith in the sacrifice. Amen. Just as we've been, uh, as we taught on the tabernacle, amen, God, uh, his presence dwelt between the cherubims and the mercy seat. Amen. And that's where he met his people. Amen. It still holds true for today. Jesus Christ is sitting on that mercy seat right now. Amen. And that's where we meet God the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because he paid the sacrifice. Amen. Just as the blood in the Old Testament was applied to the mercy seat, the one who poured out his blood sits upon that mercy seat today. And that's where we can meet God the Father in the name of Jesus. By faith. Amen. And that's where we're to place our faith, amen, is in the blood of Jesus, in his son, in Christ, amen. And we can ask the Father anything in his name, and it shall be done, amen. James said, ask God in faith, amen. Ask him believing. Don't ask the Lord with doubt, amen. Don't ask the Lord in unbelief, amen. But ask God in faith. Amen. Faith. This isn't a hard message this morning. It's easy. It should be easy. Amen. God don't expect much of us. All he expects us is to believe in him. Amen. Like these blind men. If you look in verse 27, I find this very interesting. It says, and when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him. How can blind men follow somebody if they can't see? They followed him by faith. I said they followed him by faith. While the blind men, they couldn't see with their natural eyes, the word of God, the Holy Spirit wrote it in there that they followed him. Oh, hallelujah, church. You don't have to understand it all. You don't have to try to figure out the whole word of God before you follow. All you have to do is apply faith and follow Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says the blind men followed him. Amen. They followed him by faith. And faith came by hearing. Amen. I'm sure, amen, whatever town it was in, I believe some say it was Capernaum where Peter's house was. Amen. He just got done healing uh, Jairus' daughter. Raised her from the dead. Amen. And I believe there was probably a flock, a multitude following. And these blind men, amen, were sitting in Capernaum. Maybe they were sitting at the front gate. Who knows where they were at? But nevertheless, amen, they heard the word coming. I said they heard the word. 
Amen. They could probably hear the multitude, amen, crying out to the Lord, amen. And one blind man may ask the other, said, what's going on? He probably said, I don't know, I, don't, I can't see, hello, amen. And the other one said, wait a minute, shh, shh, quiet down, I hear something. I hear someone, amen. They're shouting Jesus, amen. People were proclaiming, he's raised the dead, amen. And it brought about faith because they heard the word, yeah. amen. And they just didn't place their faith in anything, but they placed it in Jesus, amen. They heard the word, amen. They probably heard the people shouting and proclaiming what the Lord had done, amen. And because they heard the word, it brought about faith. And while they still couldn't see by faith, they followed him, amen. They followed him by faith, amen. Isn't that interesting? Two blind men can't see, but yet they can follow Jesus. Hallelujah. They followed him. Amen. I said they followed him. And they started crying out to him saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. Amen. They put their faith in Christ. Amen. I said they put their faith in Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. I don't care what you've done. I don't care where you're at. Amen. I don't care whether you don't understand it all or you're not. If you'll just place your faith in Him and what He's already done and just follow Him, just as these blind men had did. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Great and wonderful things will happen. Amen. I said great and wonderful things will happen if you just place faith in Him. Amen. This isn't a hard message this morning. Amen. It's just, a new, it's just the same revelation. Amen. That's come back full circle once again. Faith in Christ and what He's already done. And just place your faith in Him. Amen. Even these two blind men. Amen. And you can look at that blind men sp uh, speaking spiritually as well. Amen. Spiritually blind. Didn't know what to do, didn't know where to go, didn't know how to, amen. But yet when they heard the word, amen, yeah. it brought about faith. They placed their faith in him, amen, and they followed him, amen. And it says, and he is, when he came into the house, it was probably Peter's house, amen. The blind man came to him. Amen. And Jesus said unto them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Oh, hallelujah. What a question. Amen. And that's the same question the Holy Spirit, amen, asks is every single person that comes to Jesus. Amen. Do you believe? Amen. Do you believe that he is able to do this? Amen. I want to break this question down into two parts. Amen. First of all, do you believe now, listen with your spiritual ears. Do you believe that I am? Amen. Do you believe that I am? Amen. Do you really believe he's the I am that I am? Amen. Do you believe that he's the I am? Amen. Do you believe he's the I am? The one who parted the Red Sea. Amen. The one who said, let there be light. The one who shut the lion's mouth. The one that brought the walls of Jericho down. The one that opened the Jordan rivers. Amen. Do you believe that he's the I am? That I am. Amen. Amen. Do you believe he's the one that can raise the dead? Do you believe the one, he's the one that can heal? Do you believe that he's still for today? The I am. Do you believe that he's the I am or do you believe that he was the I was? Amen. Do you believe that he's the I am or do you believe that he's the I tomorrow? Amen. Do you believe that he's the I am for the first generation or do you believe that he's the I am that I am? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you believe he's the I am? Amen. Amen. Do you really believe in your heart and soul, amen, what he did in his word, he still does, amen? Do you believe he saves? Do you believe he heals? Do you believe he delivers, amen? Do you believe that he's the I am? He's the I am that I am. He's not the God of 
of dead, but he's the God of the living, amen. If you notice in the Old Testament, whenever he came to somebody, amen, he said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Jacob. He didn't say, I was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because now they're dead. No, they're alive, amen, because they were in Christ, amen. They trusted in the redemption plan, the blood, and he's the I am. I am the God of Abraham. I am the God of Jacob. I am the God of Israel. Do you believe? Do you really believe he's the I am? Amen. And now the second part. Amen. Do you believe that he's able to do it still today? Amen. Because that's what he asked the blind men. Amen. Oh, they probably, amen, somebody probably led them to the synagogues on every Sabbath and heard the priests and heard the scribes and heard the Pharisees talk about Isaiah and talk about uh, Elijah and talk about Elijah the Tishbite. Heard him talk about Moses parting the Red Sea and how the I Am spoke to him. And they probably believed it with all their heart. We know they believed it with all their heart because they followed Jesus when he came. Amen. And day after day, they probably heard about the I am and what he did for Moses, what he did for David, what he did for Solomon, what he did for all the prophets. And so the Lord first asked him, amen, two parts in this question, amen, that I believe spoke to his heart and spirit. Do you believe that I am? Yes, I believe you're the I am that I am. And do you believe I'm able to do it for you today? Do you believe, amen, he asked these two blind men, do you believe I'm able to do this, amen? Do you believe he can still raise the dead today? Do you still believe he can part the Red Sea if need be? Do you still believe that he can still heal? Do you still believe that he's able to do this even in the modern technology and world that claims that he's no longer around? Do you still believe that he's able to do this? Amen. Do you believe he still does it or do you believe it was just for the first generation? It was just for Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and Acts. Amen. Oh, it was just for Azusa Street. Or do you still believe he's able to do this? Amen. Do you believe that he's the I am? And not only that, do you still believe he's able? Amen. Amen. See, there's two questions here. Do you believe he can? And do you believe he will? Amen. Do you believe he can do this? And do you believe he will? Amen. The the can part usually is easy for people. Oh, yes. Amen. I believe what the word of God says. I believe that Jesus healed. I believe he raised the dead. I believe he did all these things according to what the word of God says. Okay. Now, do you still believe that he will for today? Amen. That's right. Amen. Because if you do, he'll touch you. Amen. Amen. If you do, if you, when you reach out in faith, he will respond. Because God always responds to faith in his son. And when you reach out, amen, he'll always answer and he'll always touch. Amen. Think back in your walk. Has there ever been a single time when you cried out to the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, that He didn't respond? Can you name one incident, amen, when you reached out in uh, faith, amen, true faith, and cried out to Him in your heart, soul, and spirit? Was there one time that He never answered? I'm not talking about when you... Asked in uh, half faith, amen. I'm, I'm asking when you have really cried out to him, amen, with all your heart and soul, and you reached out to him by faith and said, Lord, help me. Did he not respond to you, amen? Did he not touch you? Did he not anoint you? Did he not speak to you? Did he not give you a promise? Did he not say something to you, amen? You can't tell me he did because he always responds by faith, Amen. Just as he did with these blind men. It says he touched their eyes. Amen. Amen. I said he touched their eyes. Amen. And said according to your faith. Let it be done unto you. Amen. 
Now, now let me get this one thing because people may misunderstand this. It's not about your measure of faith, how much faith you have, but it's where you put it. Amen. You can have faith the size of an oak tree or you can have faith the size of a mustard seed. Amen. But you take that faith, whatever measure God has given you, whether it's the size of a mustard seed or whether it's the size of an oak tree. Amen. And do you, you place it in Christ. Amen. And the Lord will ask you every time when you cry out to him, do you believe that I am and do you believe I'm able to do this. Whether you have faith the size of a mustard seed, whether you have faith the size of an oak tree, amen. If you believe with all that mustard seed or with all that oak tree, it doesn't matter the measure. It just matters where you put it. If you believe with all of that faith, the measure God has given you, He will always respond and He will touch you just like He did these blind men. Amen. Amen. And He touched them. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I believe those blind men, amen, when the Lord touched their eyes, they probably started singing, Oh, He touched me. Hallelujah. Oh, He touched me. Hallelujah. Oh, the joy that floods my... (laughs) Now, talent's a whole different story. (laughs) Amen. But they reached out in faith. Amen. That's how God works. That's God's currency. Amen. God's currency is not merit. God's currency is not denomination. God's currency, amen, is not works, but it's faith. Amen. And not just any faith, amen, but faith in his son and what he would do. Do you believe that he's the I am? Do you believe he's the redeemer? Do you believe he's the savior? Do you believe he's the healer? Amen. Do you believe he's the deliverer? Do you believe he's the one that has raised from the dead and ascended? Do you believe he's the one that's poured out the Holy Spirit? Do you believe he's the one that baptizes in the Holy Ghost with tongues? Do you believe this? Now, do you believe that he still will for today and is able to do this? And according to your faith, amen, will depend on how much grace you want. If you don't believe he baptizes in the Holy Ghost, well, then you're never going to receive it. It's according to your faith. If you don't believe he's the Savior, amen, you don't have no salvation. If you don't believe that he heals for today, there will be no healing because it's according to your faith in him. Amen. Do you understand that? If you doubt in your heart, if you don't believe that he can save, you ain't going to get saved. If you don't believe he heals, amen, you ain't going to get no healing. Excuse my grammar. I know ain't ain't a word, but I'll argue it till the day I die and I'll use the word ain't. Amen. Because God always responds to faith. It's according to your faith in him and what he has done. Do you believe it? And not only do you believe it, do you believe it's still for today? Just as he asked these two blind men. Do you believe that I the I am and do you believe I'm able to do this? Amen. If you don't believe he can heal, you ain't going to get no healing. If you don't believe he will deliver, you ain't going to get no deliverance. If you don't believe he's a savior, you ain't going to get no savior. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody amen me. Praise God. Amen. It's according to your faith. Amen. If you believe he heals, guess what? Honey, you can have healing. Amen. If you still believe he fills with the Holy Spirit, guess what? Sir, you can have power. Amen. If you still believe that he saves, guess what? According to your saved, he'll make you a new creation in Christ Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. It's according to your faith. Amen. Hallelujah. He's done the work. It's all finished. His burden is light. His yoke is easy. All you have to do now is apply faith. And it'll be according to your faith whether you receive it or not. Amen. Do you believe it or don't you? It's an easy question. Amen. I like the song and I'm still trying to find it. Amen. If you know what CD Brother Swagger has it on, let me know so we can get it. The song, Only Believe. All things are possible. Only believe. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith. 
That's all God asks of us is faith. Amen. Faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by the word of God. Amen. These two blind men heard the word of God. Amen. They heard the word. Amen. They heard the people proclaiming how he raised Jairus' daughter. I have to believe. Amen. And when they heard that, they put their faith in Christ. And when they put their faith in Christ, they started following him. And they believed he could. And then the Lord asked them, do you believe I will now for you? And they said, yes, Lord. And it was done according to their faith because they said, yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith. Amen. It's easy. Faith. Just believe. All things are possible. Only believe. Amen. Christ can do it. Amen. The work is done. Sin has been taken away. There's nothing in between. My Lord. Amen. And my soul. Amen. And all you got to do is apply faith. That's how God works. His currency is not the dollar bill. His currency is not works. His currency is not religion. His currency is not denominations. But his currency is faith and just believing even though you don't see it. Hallelujah. You may have to wait a while, but just hang in there and just keep believing. Amen. And he will touch you. Amen. And when he touches you, Amen. He'll ask you the question, am I, do you still believe that I am able to do this? And all you got to do is respond by faith and say, yes, Lord, I do. Yes, Lord, I do. Hallelujah. Some of you he may have already touched. Amen. Some of you he already may have touched. And the Holy Spirit is asking you, do you believe that Jesus is the I am and that he's still able to do this? All you got to do now is step out in faith and say, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Some of you have been crying, amen, and he hasn't touched you yet. Hang in there. He's going to touch you, amen. He always responds to faith when you cry out to him. And when he touches you, he'll ask you the question, do you believe it? Uh, Do you believe I'm able? And you just say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Some of you are still blind, amen. Maybe here or maybe on camera. Amen. But guess what? This morning you've heard the word. Christ Jesus and what he's done. Now put your faith in him. Amen. And start crying out to him. Amen. Some of you are crying out to him. Guess what? He's going to touch you. And some of you he's already touched. And he's asking you the question. Amen. Do you believe that I am? And do you believe that I'm able to do this? And you just say, yes, Lord. Amen. Because God always responds to faith. Amen. I said the Lord always responds to faith in His Son. That's God's currency. Amen. That's what God works with is faith. Amen. That's all He asks of us is to have faith. You don't have to understand it all. Most of the prophets in the Old Testament didn't understand it all. Amen. The Bible says when the Lord would give the prophets of old a vision... They would go and preach it to the people, and after they was done preaching, they'd get along with God and say, Lord, I don't understand what you showed me. Could you please explain this to me? But they stepped out in faith anyways and just had faith in the coming Redeemer. Hallelujah. You don't have to understand it all. You don't have to try to figure it all out. Amen. All you have to do is put your faith in Him. Cry out to Him and let Him touch you. And when He asks you, am I I able to still do this? You just say, yes, Lord, by faith, without doubting. And see what the Lord will do. Amen. And see what the Lord will do. Amen. Now I'm not, there's some people who are preaching word of faith. This isn't word of faith. Word of faith is presumption saying I can just go do whatever I want. The blind man just couldn't say, well, I'm just going to heal myself. I'm healed now. Amen. That's presumption. But what they did do, they heard the word of God first. Amen. And when they heard the word of God, they put their faith in Christ. And when they put their faith in Christ, then they cried out to him. And when they cried out to him, amen, by faith, then he touched them. And when he touched them, he asked them the question, do you believe I'm able to do this? And again, by faith, they said, yes, Lord. Then was the healing able to come. Then was the salvation able to come. Then was the infilling able to come. Amen. Does that make sense? Hallelujah. Faith. 
And not just faith alone, but faith in Him. Amen. And trusting in Him. And looking to Him. And crying out to Him. And when He touches you, amen. And He asks you the question, amen. Do you believe I am? Amen. And you say, yes, Lord. And then He'll ask you, do you believe I'm able to do this? You say, yes, Lord, by faith. You don't say, yes, Lord, with doubt in your heart. You say, well, maybe, Lord. But you say, yes, Lord, without question. Yes, Lord. I believe you're able. Amen. And if some of you are struggling, will you say, Lord, help my unbelief. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he's still the I am. Amen. He's still the I am. And he's still able, church. All we have to do is have faith, amen, in him and what he's already done. Amen. And cry out to Him. And when He anoints you, when He touches you, when He leads you of the Spirit, He'll ask you the question, do you believe I'm able to do this? You say, yes, Lord. And then you be obedient unto Him. Amen. Faith. Faith. Somebody needed this this morning, whether it's here on camcorder. Amen. Some of you may be blind. It may be here or on camera. Amen. Maybe you never heard the gospel before. Amen. Today you've heard it. His name is Christ Jesus. He's the Son of God. He died at the cross. Amen. Paid your sin debt. All you got to do is believe. Amen. Now put your faith in Him and start crying out to Him. Amen. Some of you have been crying out and He hasn't touched you yet. But hang on. Help is on the way. He will touch you if you keep crying out by faith. James said, ask God in faith. Amen. And He will will touch you. Some of you, he's already touched and he's asking you the question, do you believe I am and do you believe I'm able to do this? Just say, yes, Lord, by faith and see what he will do. He'll open up blinded eyes. He'll raise the dead. He'll heal the sick. He'll make the lame walk. Amen. He's able to do all things. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. God responds by faith. Amen. That's all you need is faith. Do you know in the Old Testament, the only thing the sinner had to do was bring the sacrifice and lay his hand on it, transfer the sins, and the priest would do the rest of the work. Amen. Christ has done all the work. All you have to do, amen, is reach your hand to him. Amen. Hallelujah. And just believe by faith. Amen. He's done all the work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord faith. Amen. And it'll be according to your faith. If you don't believe it, you'll never see it. Amen. God doesn't work by seeing and then believing. God works by believing first. That first, that's what faith is. And then you'll see it. Amen. You have to believe first and then you'll see it. Amen. That's how God works. That's what faith is. Amen. Crying out to him, believing that he's the answer. Amen. And when he touches you, believe that he'll do it and then you'll see it. Amen. Because it's according to your faith. I said it's according to your faith. God has given each one of you a measure of faith. It doesn't matter whether it's a uh, size of a mustard seed. And a mustard seed is the smallest seed here on earth. Amen. And it doesn't matter if it's the size of an oak tree. Amen. The measure of faith doesn't matter. But where you put it is where it matters. Amen. Do you put it in Christ? That he is the I am, that he is the savior, he is the healer, he is the deliverer, he is the Messiah. Do you put it in him or do you put it in other things? Amen. If you put it in other things, you'll never see it. Amen. But if you put your faith in him and what he's done, despite what amount of measure God has given you, amen, you'll see great and mighty things happen in your walk with God. Amen. But it all starts with faith. Amen. And believing what this word of God says from front to back. And then once you believe it from front to back, not only just believing it, but believe that he will still do today what he did in his word. Because he's able. Amen. He's able. And all you have to do, amen, when he touches you, amen, and when he speaks to you and asks the question, do you still believe I am? Yes, Lord, I believe you are. You can. And now do you believe he will? Yes, Lord, I believe you will. And see if he won't. Amen. Because God works by faith. Amen. That's all you need is faith. Amen. And when he does touch you. And when he does heal. And when he does save. And when he does deliver. Amen. See what he says. What he told the blind men. 
And he said in verse 30, as I close, And their eyes were opened. And Jesus straightly, which means strongly, charged them, saying, See that no man know it. But they went, but when they were departed, spread abroad his fame in all that country. Amen. Now, why did Jesus tell them, See that no man know it? The Lord didn't want people to get their eyes on the blessings. Amen. He wanted people to keep their eyes on Him. Amen. Do you get it? He told Abraham, I am your shield. I am your great exceeding reward. Amen. He didn't want all the people that were surrounding Him. Amen. And all the people. He didn't want them to go out and just uh, promote the healing what had happened. But they wanted them to promote Him. Amen. And what He would do. Amen. God doesn't, again, when he does it, amen, remember, uh, Paul said to live a quiet life and that we shouldn't get no glory and say, look what I have, but we should be promoting Christ. Amen. And what he has done. Amen. Because none of us deserve the glory. Only him. Amen. So when he does do it, amen, and when he does such, and I believe he will, yes, Lord, you are able. Yes, Lord, you can. When he does do it, amen. Don't promote the blessing, but promote the blesser. Amen. Again, don't promote the blessing. Amen. But promote the blesser, Christ Jesus. Amen. That's what Paul was talking about as well when he said uh, that he wants to live a quiet life. I mean, quiet life doesn't mean that he didn't preach boldly, didn't uh, preach against sin. But what quiet life meant was that he wasn't promoting all the healings that was happening and all the um, blessings that was happening. But he was only interested in promoting Christ Jesus as the Son of God, as the way, the truth, and the life. And that's what he was telling these two blind men, amen. Don't go about uh, telling everybody about all the blessings I did, but just go about and tell them about me. Amen. Does that make sense this morning, church? Amen. And all you got to do is have faith. Oh, that's easy. Isn't that so wonderful, church? That's what the gospel means. Good news. That's good news. You don't have to work for it. You don't have to merit it. You don't have to earn it. It's all been taken care of. It's been done for. The bill is paid in full. And all you got to do is believe. Amen. All things are possible. Only believe. If we had that song, I'd be playing it right now on the computer. Only believe. Amen. Only believe. All things are possible. Only believe. Do you believe this morning, church, that he's the I am? Amen. Do you believe he's the I am? Now, do you believe that he's able to do it today? Amen. If you do, stand with me in faith and we'll take communion. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, Brother Joe, Brother Kevin, can you uh, get communion ready? I try to rotate the gentleman here to make it fair for everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, before we take communion, amen. Just as Paul said, examine yourself.